Hey, I'm Charles Bradley. We're back again at Pikes Peak International Hill Climb. We're halfway up this 14,000 foot mountain, right at the start line. So this is the rolling start. The guys just come out of the paddock over there. They'll be flat out through this bend. And beyond that, about 12 and a half mile course on the table today, we've got the EV record, 8 minutes 57, set by Reese Millen a couple of years ago. We've got the Volkswagen IDR that's going to be chasing that. Overall course record here, Sebastian Loeb set in 2013 at 8 minutes 13 seconds. So let's see who guns for that today. The Race to the Clouds attracts entries from all around the world as well as America. Here's former DTM racer Vanina Ricks in her Gillette Vertigo. It wouldn't be Pike's Peak without a Group B Audi Quattro, and this is Australian David Rowe's Winged Beauty. Giorgio Leparati brings this wild Fiesta ST all the way from Pogbonzi in Italy. And from the wild to the ridiculous, Kiwi Reese Millen's 600 horsepower Bentley Bentayga, which sets a new mountain record for SUVs. Here's some true Americana, Steve Googling's 2002 Chevrolet Camaro, and Scott Birdsall's incredible Ford F1. Nothing Formula One about this 1200 horsepower pickup from 1949. He originally bought it for 225 bucks on Craigslist. Here with legendary NASCAR crew chief Ray Evanham. What a fantastic place to be on this glorious day. It is. It's one of the most beautiful places on Earth and, and certainly the most challenging natural racetrack on Earth. Tell us a little bit about your amazing car. Well, it's called the Ghost and it's something that we've been wanting to build for a long time. That's a little bit odd. It's basically a cross between a NASCAR modified and a Trans Am car. It's got a very big motor in it, about 850 horsepower, 1936 Chevy sedan body, and a lot of the ideas that we always wanted to run in NASCAR that weren't quite legal. Another fantastic car that's here this weekend is the Volkswagen, the all-electric car. Have you had a look at that? I have, as close as you could get to it. But it's amazing and uh, it's incredible what technology has done and they have they, they brought an unbelievable program. It's fascinating on the things that they have to do to charge and the, the batteries and the way that it works out. It, it's amazing that the Romain can drive that at the speed that it is. That's, that's what amazes me. It's, uh, it's like looking through a camera on fast forward all the time. With go time fast approaching, I asked Volkswagen Motorsport Director Sven Smeets how his nerves are holding out. Let's say that uh, the, the energy is going up a little bit, but it's still a positive energy. We're, we've been waiting nine months for this moment, so we will be very happy when it's time that our car goes to the start line. And you ordered the weather and it turned out great. Well, uh, yes. Uh, uh, looking to it now, it's fantastic because about an hour ago it didn't look so good. It was even very humid and we could feel some raindrops. So we were a little bit worried, but it seemed that uh, the weather gods at least are with us. Right. Good luck. Thank you. Well, what a difference half an hour makes. The weather's closed in and there's cloud right across the peak of the mountain behind me. Uh, but let's see if the Volkswagen IDR can still do a time. The Volkswagen IDR is ready to go, but the course isn't ready. An electric motorbike has crashed and a member of public needs medical attention. There's a 45 minute delay as there's further problems with the timing system. To beat Pike's Peak, you have to beat the mountain and today it's fighting back. Finally, 45 minutes later than planned, the siren sounds and the IDR is ready to roll. What time can it achieve?
And there it is, a new outright Pikes Peak record, 7 minutes 57.148 seconds. I catch up with the project's technical advisor and Formula F1 technical director, Willie Ramf. Willie, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Fabulous performance. What was the raw emotion like as he crossed the finish line? I mean, he crossed the finish line, it was a, a bit like Psycho Terror on the screen because I, because it looked quite slow. Yes. And I didn't stop the time. So it was a big relief when when uh, when I, I got the time that we are below eight minutes. Yeah, what a fantastic achievement, though. It says so much about electric vehicles, doesn't yes. it? Yes, yes. I, I think it was a, it, it's really a, 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 a very good thing overall, a very good project overall, to show that with an electric car, you can do this type of race uh, and even uh, that's the quickest time ever. What was your biggest worry today? Was it the weather closing in? It was the weather closing, yes. yeah. Because from the cars the last three days, we had completely trouble-free testing. We did fine-tuning on the setup to make the car, let's say, nice and good to drive for him. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, the big worry was really the weather. Yeah. And what can you say about this fantastic team, FX, Roman, obviously? Yeah, Roman is, uh, is uh, for sure, the, by far the best driver for a project like this, because he knows the hill very well. With FX, I'm working together since seven years now. Uh, he's an excellent technician. It's very nice for me to work with him together and it's also when I mean, it's like a paradise to, work, to make a project like this. So the target was 8 minutes 57. I see on your belly it says 7 minutes 57. Tell us the story. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I think Roma, the car, everything uh, really surprised us. I mean, we knew after the qualifying the car had a, had a huge potential. But of course, this big question was uh, going to the top with this potential because we never did it. The longest run we did here was eight kilometers. So yeah, just unbelievable. And I just spoke to Romain for a quick, very quickly. So uh, he had some fog in sector two. The whole sector two was wet, humid. So uh, very difficult conditions for him to get to the top. So an amazing, an amazing uh, performance of him as well. How was your eight? Uh, sorry, seven minutes fifty-seven. How did it feel? As maybe an hour. <laughs> <laughs> because we had we didn't have any live timing, so we really had to wait until the time of Romain was on the screen. And on top of that, I, he was on the bottom of the screen, so I was looking to the bottom, and one time he was gone, so I thought there was something wrong. But actually, because he did the best time, you go to the top of the screen. So <laughs> then I saw FX next to me starting to jump, so then I knew everything was fine. The brains behind the design is Francois Xavier de Maison, known as FX for short. For a tech genius like yourself, how, what's it been like to work on an electric sports prototype project like this? Well, it's a big jump in the future. We are ten months ago. We had uh, no clue of, uh, of what would be a car for which car we need to build to go uh, to Pikes Peak. Uh, we've never been here before, and uh, we build uh, some electric car, but not not with this level of power. And, uh, so that was really a, a tough time, and I'm very proud for the whole team because they did a fantastic job. His TV personality, Rallycross champion and X Games hero, Tanner Faust. What does he think? So we've seen some history here today. What did you think? I had no idea how it would affect me, really, you know. Um, I've known about the program for a long time, but now coming to the mountain just, I guess, three days ago, meeting with the guys that I've worked with at Volkswagen Motorsport for a number of years, seeing how much effort, I mean, they really went both feet in in a bigger way than I've ever seen in motorsport. So when I saw the number and I watched the run, I was just, I'm so happy for them. It's very inspirational. Somebody has this idea, why don't we go to Pikes Peak and try to break the electric record and then follows through so much that the first car in history to be in the seven minute range in over a hundred years, it's awesome. You know this mountain very well. What did you think when you saw this cloud roll in across the top? It's this emotional roller coaster ride because you see the clouds come in, there's delays, there's a biker down. Then the organizers are taking a really long time resetting the course. I'm sure down here in the pits, they were sweating like crazy. The, and the fog changes everything. Okay, so I was in the uh, in the booth uh, for the telecast, and we could we had cameras everywhere, so I could see exactly where the the clouds were and how it was affecting it. And then when Romain went and did his run, the clouds were coming up in some of the most dangerous sections up at the top half of the mountain and curling over the roads. And he could drive through the tunnel basically, and you could see it all from the helicopter. It was beautiful. And as he's finishing, the the roads closed out. And so literally five minutes after his run, the top of the mountain was closed out. So it was just in time.
So Volkswagen team the electric technology, the mountain and the weather gods to deliver this amazing new record of 7 minutes 57 seconds. So cheers to Volkswagen.